Training camp has been tremendous. You know, I'm happy. Um, <clears throat> my father, my father is happy. You know, my team is happy. We're ready to go out there and, and you know do what we do best: take our time and, and, and box. Has this been a defensive training camp, given his punching power? Um, no, you know, I'm same way. Uh, you dish it out, you have to be able to take it. You know, you know, this is a give and take. You know, type of sport. So um, I'm happy. You know, I'm happy with my team. Uh, Al, Al, Al Heyman has done a tremendous job. Leonard Ellaby has, you know, uh, done a hell of a job. And my, now it's time for me to go out there and do what I do best. Floyd, is there a fighter you fought as unorthodox as being done? That you I can't really say because, you know, I haven't fought him yet. You know, you know, after the fight is over, then mm -hmm. I can, you know, I can come back and tell you guys a little, you know, everything that I know about him. But there's nobody he reminds you of that you fought, um, even close. I, I can't really say. You know, I mean, when I was when I was looking at him fight um, Adrian uh -huh. Broner, I was just looking at looking as a spectator. You know, mm -hmm. you know, just as a fan of boxing, just watching the fight. I wouldn't say, let me break this guy down, because he could fight me totally different. Because Styles makes fights. Do you think he'll try to fight you different? Think he'll try to fight you differently? Uh, I'm really not sure. We just have to see how he come out. You know, we had we had like seven different sparring partners for this training camp. You know, preparing us for so many different styles. So we just don't know which may down and may come. Why did he get the opportunity? Here? I mean, he deserved the opportunity. He's a champion. I mean, he's been fighting and improving himself for years now. You know, this is a guy with an 80 percent knockout ratio, and it's nothing like champion versus champion. But the undercard also is remarkable. So. I mean, like I said, the three fights that's on the undercard are main event fights. So, you know, uh, this time, pay-per-view is, is, is worth buying. Did the fact that he got dropped by body shots by Amir Khan, would that give any indication of what you may try to do against him? Um, um, you know, me and Amir Khan is two totally, two totally different fighters. You know, um, I'm a fighter that, that likes to take his time and be smart. And... Um, and listen, where Amir Khan is, a, a, you know, a straight-ahead guy, sometimes can be reckless, and he was reckless in that fight uh, when, when he lost the title to the uh, to the to the young fight, Danny Garcia. He was fight, you know, very very reckless, and then you know, you see what happened when fighters fight fight reckless. So it's it's good and it's good in that, and it's bad also. Me me being who I am, I took my time. That's why I've been able to last 18 years right. in the sport and not really take, you know. A lot of damage. But just to play the devil's advocate, he has one thing, you know, he has fast hands like you have fast hands. And I wonder if you saw something in Amir's hand speed that caused Maidana problems that you, you think you can take advantage of. But I think it's not all, always about, you know, hand speed. You know, Adrian Brown is a fast fighter. It's about sometimes it's about timing. Mm -hmm. You know, everything in, in, in boxing and life period is about inches and timing. And I think that, you know, that's the good thing about me. I have, you know, I have real, real good timing. What your dad was saying earlier, he's never seen a fighter as dedicated to preparing as you've been for this fight. Can you just talk about, you know, with each fight, how much more important it is for you to stay focused on your craft and do what well, you do? Well, a lot of times people, you know, a lot of times you hear people talk about uh, it's Mayweather just, he, he's protecting his record. The only thing I'm doing is, you know, when I fight a fighter is when I fight a fighter, you know. Um, I mean, and I'm not talking about Point, you know, fans at certain fighters. When I, you know, when we fight fighters, we fight who we fight. You know, it's, it's no different. If like, like, like I always say, Floyd Mayweather. You know, I'm not, I don't think that I'm gonna get the props that I truly deserve until my career is over. That's what I truly believe. Are you okay with that? I mean, as long as I'm happy at the end of the day. You know, when, when I go out there and perform, and you know, as long as my family is happy and, and, and my loved ones are around me, uh, because. It's self-preservation. I'm first, but you know I, I love my fans because without them, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. The ability to to, uh, to anticipate, you do that better than than almost any fighter. You've um, always had that ability. I think or? it's just having a lot of experience, being around the sport for so so long. Just having a lot of experience. This, you know, I never I never worked a job. You know, um, this is what I did my whole life. You know, I boxed my whole life. So. I mean, I think it's really not about just, I, I'm, I think I'm able to make adjustments, just like I showed you in the Shane Mosley fight, I showed you in the Zab Judah fight, you know, in, in, a blink of an, in a blink of an eye, I can make adjustments. You said that you haven't been, uh, you know, appreciated properly, and you don't think you will till you're done, but yet people... I understand, I don't think I, I'll appreciate it, I think that, I don't really want to say that, I think that, I think that I'll truly be missed when I'm going away from the sport, and you know, um, you know, I always dreamed about, uh, getting to the top, you know, and working with a tremendous team, 
you know, Mayweather Promotions literally has done a tremendous job. Golden Boy Promotions, uh, Richard Shaver has done a good job. And, and that's what I think it's about, you know, uh, working together as one and, and, and just being a, uh, just building a foundation and building a powerful unit.